Well, I, um, I was diagnosed with diabetes in 2004. Um, very, very ill at the time, and if it wasn't for the um, pressure from my wife to, to go to the doctors, uh, I could have possibly died. That's how seriously ill I was. My father was diabetic, I'm diabetic. There's a high possibility my children are going to be type 1 diabetic. So, any research to prevent my children having to go through the dilemmas of having to inject yourself twice a day from taking uh, lots and lots of tablets from having to control your blood sugar levels all throughout the day it's vital important research The artificial pancreas is really a means of dispensing insulin so that instead of using injections to deliver the insulin, you use a device that has a formulation within it that modulates the speed that the insulin comes out. So that's going to take the place of a real pancreas that does that job all the time. Well, all our research so far has really been from the point of view of the insulin and the insulin delivery. And the research has centred very much on the formulation of insulin, the formulation of the gel and the design of the artificial pancreas. But we really needed to look at the patient. And so we put this room together to look at how the patient responds to exercise. Because exercise is a way of looking at body movement and the way you use calories. And that very much differs for diabetic people compared with people who don't have diabetes. And the net result of being able to do that is to actually work out what it is an artificial pancreas would have to accomplish in terms of controlling the, the calorie turnover. This mechanism is all based on a glucose sensitive gel. So the gel itself has a really special characteristic. Its permeability increases when it's in contact with glucose and it lets more insulin out as a, as a consequence. And when that insulin has done its job and the body glucose has gone down again to normal levels, then that gel will solidify again and stop excess insulin coming out. And that means that the dose of insulin is always was just appropriate for the very moment that we're talking about and it will do that continuously throughout the day. What you see behind me is a new exhibit called How Much of You Can Be Rebuilt. The exhibit features Rex, who is a real-world bionic man. Rex was built for the Channel 4 documentary How Much of You Can Be Rebuilt, and he was put together from 28 of the world's most cutting-edge prosthetic limbs and bionic organs. It's fantastic to have Professor Joan Taylor here with us at the Science Museum today. Rex the Bionic Man features an artificial pancreas and that's one of the organs that has attracted the most attention from the public. The Bionic Man project has been amazing because we've worked as a little team and from time to time we've all met and we've discovered that we have common problems and that we've gone about solving them in common ways and that really we ought to have communicated years ago. had an opportunity to meet people of all ages. I've met uh, some really quite elderly people. I've talked to a lot of very young people and I've talked to lots of parents. And it's been an opportunity to explain quite complicated things. For an individual to be able to do that and bring it as far forward as she has and when you sort of look at the like physiological side of things and how she's managed to do that it's you know it's, it's amazing how she's done it she's achieved so much for like one person it's amazing it 
it's an important development to be able to have something which will keep people alive like that. Although you can make up an artificial man, as they have in the television programme, um, the individual bits, whether it's artificial lung, artificial pancreas, uh, they are actually important for keeping people alive, ordinary people alive, who are, who are suffering from uh, these serious diseases. I think it's going to be very important because a lot of things go wrong um, with your body. Doctors are going to probably be needing it a lot. In the end, if we can have what we call um, a pancreas that can be um, produced and put inside the human to prevent them from um, having to inject all the time and to control their diabetes, that is going to be absolutely fantastic.